O family of the grave, where does our help come from? Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Our help is in Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm coming at you with a little bit of a different angle. It's early in the morning here on Friday, and I love this time of the day. The sun's coming through over there, and you can see all the beautiful light in the sanctuary. I wish you could be here with me, and uh, soon you will be able to. Uh, More on that later. But today I want to start by reading a a bit of scripture. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Give thanks in all circumstances. A friend of mine told me that he did this as a spiritual discipline for COVID. Uh, Most of the time we really love to complain about all the ways in which this pandemic is driving us crazy. And, and, and that list gets longer and longer the longer COVID goes on. And for some of you, the things that have been terrible about COVID have been really, really terrible. But um, Jesus calls us to give thanks in all circumstances. Not for COVID, don't give thanks for COVID. But find things to be thankful for in it. And so that's what my friend did, and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go through five things that are happened during this pandemic that probably wouldn't have happened if this pandemic hadn't, hadn't been, and things for which I'm thankful. Okay, number one, my children came home. For about two months, we were all living in our house together, just like uh, back in the day. My kids are adults now. I doubt that will ever happen again. It was wonderful to all be together for two months, even though the house got busy and messy. I love being with my kids. Thank you, Lord, for two months with my children. Two, Baked goods. My daughter, Abby, loves to bake. She baked lots of cookies. I had more cookies than usual during the pandemic. And for me, cookies are like the sacramental food of family. So thank you, Lord, for baked goods during the pandemic. Third thing, the road less traveled. Because my family, maybe like your family, was forced to find other ways of entertaining ourselves during COVID, we found, we we sought out trails and parks in West Michigan that we'd never visited before. And we found all kinds of really cool hiking places in West Michigan, including the Cascade Peace Park. Do you know about this park? It's out in Ada. There's some great trails there that you can walk down. Thank you, Lord, for beautiful places so close to home. Fourth, I'm thankful for Peg the puppy. We got a puppy during the pandemic. She's a lot of work, but she's a lot of fun. Thank you, Lord, for pets. And finally, I'm thankful for my neighbors. Again, another thing that this pandemic forced us to do was to get out of our houses and walk around the neighborhood because we were going stir crazy. And I have talked more to my neighbors over the last six months than I usually do by far. I've learned names of of neighbors who've been there for a long time. I've deepened my connection with neighbors who I already knew. And I am so grateful to live in neighborhoods full of good people who look after one another. Thank you, Lord, for good neighbors. This pandemic is miserable. I pray for its speedy end. I pray for all those people who are deeply affected by it. But I'm thankful that even in the midst of it, there are signs of God's presence and God's goodness. His mercies are new every morning, including this one. Now may the peace of Christ go with you wherever you may be. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he fill you with thanksgiving for the wonders he has shown you. And may he bring you home rejoicing to this place face to face again once more.